Leaked memos show the National Organization for Marriage tried to manipulate minority groups. Meanwhile, marriage organizers press ahead for equality in Ohio, but not everyone is on board. And we're just days away from a showdown over DOMA. It's going to happen this Wednesday, April 4th. I'm Matt Baum at the American Foundation for Equal Rights, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for April 2nd, 2012. We got an incredible peek inside the National Organization for Marriage this week when a federal judge ordered them to release a series of secret 2009 memos about fundraising and strategy. It's our best glimpse yet into the most powerful anti-equality organization in the country. One of the most intriguing insights is their strategy to, quote, drive a wedge between gays and blacks, an incredibly offensive tactic, not to mention impossible in the case of people who are both gay and black. But one of the overlooked revelations is the amount of money that they budgeted back in 2009 for projects that failed or simply faded away. Remember the ludicrously named $2 million for marriage? They set aside $3 million for that. And then there was the $1 million campaign to roll back marriage equality in Iowa. That was a bust. And they budgeted $2 million for ending marriage in New Hampshire, a project that culminated just last week in their colossal defeat. The real story with these 2009 memos is that as the years go by, Nam's clout gets weaker and weaker and weaker. But they're not out of the game yet, and we still have a lot of work to do. A new survey this week shows a tough challenge ahead in North Carolina, and that many voters simply don't understand what Amendment 1 would actually do. Some think it would ban marriage, others think it only applies to gay people, and some people think it legalizes marriage. For the record, Amendment 1 prohibits all protections for all unmarried couples, gay and straight, and their children. There's just a few weeks to go before the May election. This week, Richard Vinroot, the former mayor of Charlotte and former Republican candidate for governor, came out in opposition to the North Carolina measure. And even House Speaker Tom Tillis, a Republican who sponsored the bill, admitted this week that even if it passes, it will probably be reversed within 20 years. And if those leaked nom memos are any indication, it might be reversed even sooner. Meanwhile, polling in Maryland is too close to call right now. 43% of voters oppose marriage equality and 40% support it. A referendum on marriage equality is likely to appear on the Maryland ballot this November. And finally this week, watch for big news on Wednesday, April 4th. That's when two of the many lawsuits over the Federal Defense of Marriage Act go before a panel of judges in Boston. Meanwhile, the Department of Justice recently asked a California court to move with greater than usual speed to hear arguments in a third DOMA lawsuit. All told, there are about a dozen lawsuits right now involving DOMA. Remember to subscribe to this channel for breaking news alerts, to stay on top of this story and more, and do your part for marriage equality by giving this video a like and sharing with family and friends. We'll see you next week.